Electric circuits, whether simple or complex, can be described in a variety of ways. An electric circuit is commonly described with mere words. An LED bulb connected to a batteries and resistance is sufficient to describe a simple circuit. Circuits can also be described with the help of drawings. Such drawings provide a quicker mental picture of the actual circuit. Another way of describing an electric circuit is by the use of conventional circuit symbols. Schematic diagram of the circuit and its components can be drawn. We will use the FET or PHET simulation to understand circuit behavior using basic components. A single cell or other power source is represented by a long and a short parallel lines. A collection of cells or battery is represented by a collection of long and short parallel lines. The long line is representative of the positive terminal of the energy source and the short line represents the negative terminal. A straight line is used to represent a connecting wire between any two components of the circuit. An electrical device that offers resistance to the flow of charge is generally referred to as a resistor and is represented by a zigzag line. An open switch is generally represented by providing a break in a straight line by lifting a portion of the line upwards at a diagonal. Closed switch is represented like this. When there are two or more electrical devices present in a circuit with an energy source, there are a couple of basic means by which to connect them. They can be connected in series or connected in parallel. Suppose that there are three light bulbs connected together in the same circuit. If connected in series, then they are connected in such a way that an individual charge would pass through each one of the light bulbs in consecutive fashion. When in series, the charge passes through every light bulb. If connected in parallel, a single charge passing through the external circuit would only pass through one of the light bulbs. The light bulbs are placed within a separate branch line and a charge traversing the external circuit will pass through only one of these branches during its path back to the low key terminal. The ways in which devices are connected will have a major effect upon the overall resistance of the circuit, the total current of the circuit and the current in each device. A series circuit can be constructed by connecting light bulbs in such a manner that there is a single pathway for charge to flow. The bulbs are added to the same line with no branching point. As more and more light bulbs are added, the brightness of each bulb gradually decreases. This observation is an indicator that the current within circuit is decreasing. So for series circuits, as more resistors or bulbs are added the overall current within the circuit decreases. This decrease in current is consistent with the conclusion that the overall resistance of the circuit increases. A final observation that is unique to series circuits is the effect of removing a bulb from a socket. If one of the three bulbs in a series circuit is unscrewed from its socket, then it is observed that the other two bulbs immediately go out. In order for the devices in a series circuit to work, each device must work. If one goes out, they all go out. Suppose that all the appliances in a household kitchen were connected in series. In order for the refrigerator to work in that kitchen, the toaster, oven, dishwasher and overhead light would all have to be on. In order for one device in series to work, they all must work. If current is cut from any one of them, it is cut from all of them. Quite obviously, the appliances in the kitchen are not connected in series. Let us connect the three bulbs in parallel. We will also connect an additional bulb outside these parallel branches so that the effect of addition or removal of individual bulb can be seen. The addition of bulb causes the indicator bulb to get brighter. For parallel circuits, as the number of bulbs or resistors increases, the overall current also increases. 
This increase in current is consistent with a decrease in overall resistance. Adding more resistors in a separate branch has the unexpected result of decreasing the overall resistance. If an individual bulb in a parallel branch is unscrewed from its socket, then there is still current in the overall circuit and current in the other branches. Removing the third bulb from its socket has the effect of transforming the circuit from a 3 bulb parallel circuit to a 2 bulb parallel circuit. If the appliances in a household kitchen were connected in parallel, then the refrigerator could function without having to have the dishwasher, the toaster, the garbage disposal and the overhead lights on. One appliance can work without the other appliances having to be on. Since each appliance is in its own separate branch, turning that appliance off merely cuts off the flow of charge to that branch. There will still be charge flowing through the other branches to the other appliances. Quite obviously, the appliances in a home are wired with parallel connections.